All right, so this is my initial review of Pigments 4. It just came out on the market today, and I, I happened to uh, see that it was released and immediately uh, downloaded it. I've been a, a user of, of Aturia plugins for like 20 years now, and I've uh, been using Pigments since the first week that it came out a few years back. So I'm a big, big fan of this software. I think it's fantastic. Um, and, but the, I didn't want this video to just be yet another rehashing of the same old features that you could just go to the Arturia website and, and get, you know, there, I mean, that's just, I mean, there's plenty of videos already out there on that. So what I wanted to address in this video, uh, my initial review of pigments for is, uh, how, well, there's one thing that's been keeping it back from being, uh, you know, my go-to synth, uh, really my go-to synth right now, actually I have two of them. Um, it would be Hive 2 for modern for a modern synth. I think it's a fantastic synth. And also Ace for my vintage analog. Uh, this is more of a newer synth that I've been using. Uh, I really love it. Just fantastic sound. But the main two reasons, why, well, the main reason I've been, I've been using these two synths as my go-to synths instead of pigments has to do mostly with how processor friendly they are compared to pigments. Pigments is kind of a pig. <laughs> it's a piggy plugin. And so I can't run a whole lot of instances of pigments until my computer starts bogging down. Whereas with Hive and Ace, I can use tons of instances and they're also fantastic plugins that work great. But I'm a huge fan of pigments. And so I'm hoping that this new version might be a little bit more friendly on my, my computer. And I'm kind of guessing that that's probably case with some other people out there so I thought well why don't I just do like a quick test to see how the performance is on pigments versus on pigments 4 versus the earlier version of pigments that uh, was out before which is 3.7 um, and that's the version that I had before this and so I'm going to do uh, pigments 3.7 versus pigments 4 versus hive and also versus another processor intensive plugin called diva so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here's how I'm going to conduct the, the uh, test here, the performance test of pigments. What I've got is I've got 12 tracks of pigments as just a test sequence here. And I'm using right now to start off with pigments 3.7 so that we can compare that against pigments 4. And this uh, test sequence is not going to win any Grammy Awards or nothing. It's me literally just banging on the keyboard and then just looping that one measure loop of just random notes that I'm hitting. Uh, six tracks of which are, are chords so that, you know, we're using up a lot of polyphony. And then six uh, tracks of of a bass line. It's just, a, like I said, it's really generic. It's nothing. It's not even me trying to make music. It's just me trying to have a busy little bass line that can, um, you know, see how much of the processor I can use up with it. And of course, you know, doing the layers, each layer with a different keyboard sound as well, so that we can kind of just roughly mimic the performance of a typical track. If you're using, say, 12 tracks of, uh, of, of, of synth plugins. So here we go. And we're going to watch the performance meter on this. As you can see, it's kind of dancing up above 50% there. All right. So now we're going to test it against, uh, against Pigments 4 as well as some other synth plugins. Okay, now we've got Pigments 4 installed and we are going to test it with the exact same sequence and see how the performance compares. Okay, now this is Hive 2 by Yuhi. It's 12 tracks of Hive 2 
being used in the same fashion as before. Uh, six tracks, the same six tracks now just reassigned from Pigments over to Hive 2 and six tracks of bass. And these are all just randomly picked uh, presets. And all of these are also wavetables as well, just trying to get a, a, a an accurate or, a, you know, a, a apples to apples comparison as best possible. So all the all the presets that I'm p picking use wavetable wavetables in their oscillators for uh, for their sound generation source. All right, so that is the performance of Hive 2. Okay, so even though it looks like now I forgot to uh, rename all of the Hive tracks, but now I've uh, replaced all the, the Hive tracks with Diva. So all of these tracks are now using Diva, which is uh, known to be one of the more uh, processor intensive uh, plugins. It's not a wavetable synth, but uh, it, we can kind of use it as a benchmark as well in here since, uh, it, like I said, it's a processor intensive plugin. So let's see how it does with these same tracks, just using random presets from its, uh, from its preset browser. <laughs> All right, so there you go. It looks like uh, Yuhi Hive is still definitely the winner on the performance, and it looks like the new version, at least according to this very unscientific uh, random test, um, is showing that Pigments 4 might actually be a little bit more processor intensive than pigments three so it's still a bit of a, a piggy plugin so that's unfortunate because i really love this plugin and i really uh really wish that it it wasn't so intensive on my computer because i would definitely use it a whole lot more in my productions because i really do love this plugin so uh, a little disappointing but i'll uh i'll uh, continue to monitor and see if there's any improvements maybe just because it's the new version maybe a you know a 4.1 version or something like that might help out uh you know this is literally day one of version four being out so we'll see how it does over time and any changes i'll report back thanks for watching